There we go. Welcome back. It's another week. It is uh, January 26th right now. Um, it's in fact 11.40 almost p.m. So it's almost the 27th, but I didn't record a vlog yet for this week. And that's something I want to be better about doing. Um, so I decided to tell you about a thing that I am doing, learning, be hopefully becoming proficient at. Um, so right here, right here, I have, I have this bad boy. I have a an acoustic guitar. Um, I bought this last January. What's the, what's the brand? It's a Epiphone. It's an Epiphone. Um, I bought this last January um, with the intention of learning to play it. I apologize that the camera was all wonky there. I'm still using just my phone because I don't have an actual camcorder yet. But uh, I bought this last January um, with the intention of learning to play it so I could exclude exclusively for the purpose of leading worship um, with the youth group, with the church, the young adults, my uh, maybe my roommates a little bit, um, and specifically in the long term, uh, my, my wife and my kids when that stuff happens um, later in life. But I bought it, maybe messed with it a time or two, and then didn't set aside time specifically to practice and get better and learn it. And so it just sat in my closet or elsewhere in my room for a few months, for, for several months, until um, after November when I didn't, I tried NaNoWriMo and failed again, but you know, got some progress done. After NaNoWriMo was done, I decided I'm gonna get started on guitar because my plate is clear, I made time for writing, and now I'll just replace writing with guitar. And I'll put reminders in my tick tick and set goals for myself to make sure I learn how to do this. And I'll tell people about it so they can check up on me and so this is me telling you people and saying, hey, I'm learning guitar, check up on me. Um, I've had people at church already come up to me and say, hey, I hear you're learning guitar from one of your roommates. Um, I heard from one of your roommates that you're learning guitar, not that I'm learning from one of them, but I mean, I, I, I can, in fact, learn from my roommate. But uh, they've been encouraging me. I talked to my buddy Matt last night, and he was really encouraged and impressed with my desire to just learn this completely new skill for the sake of ministry. And so I got this really cool thing from Mason uh, last week. We have worship binders at the church for mostly for like youth group and young adult stuff um, full of the songs that we sing most often, but it's just lyrics. Um, so there's no chords for if someone wanted to, to play a song that we'd never, uh, that we don't play very often. If you don't have the, the chords memorized already, you have to Google them. And so Mason has been making a binder full of the most common songs that we sing and putting the lyrics with the chords um, in this new binder so that the worship leader has this binder and can play the song without looking it up on their phone while the other people follow along. And so Mason uh, made a couple copies of this binder. But for me specifically, he made a very special binder with dinosaur tracks all on the front because he knows I like dinosaurs. And it's got my name there on the corner the other, I think he has two other copies, and neither of them are this are, are personalized. They just have instead of the dinosaur tracks, just um, an array of dots, an amorphous array of dots, and then no name on the front, so that anybody can have them. And so I'm super excited to get that. Um, it was super encouraging, and uh, I opened it up as, almost as soon as I got it and went to Good Good Father, which is the first song that I'm going to learn. And I'm excited, and I, I know the chords for it. There, the there are five chords in it. I know all five of them, and knew all five of them when I got the the book. So, I've been practicing the chord changes between those, and um, working on the strumming um, rhythm for Good Good Father. If I could get my camera straight, this would be a much more professional business, or endeavor rather. But uh, regardless. Um, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm actually doing a fairly good job of not comparing myself to people like Mason and um, Pastor Kyle and Haley who are all, and even Pastor Jim, who are all really good at guitar because they've been playing it for years. Um, I'm pacing myself, I'm putting in 10-15 minutes a day of doing strumming, of doing chord changes, of um, keeping rhythm when I hear other songs on the radio. and. I'm just taking my time. I'm trying to master this skill rather than cram my head full of different chords and then try to play them and fumble really badly. I want to master this skill and be 
proficient with it. So like an, I, so like, I, so I can honor Jesus with it, which is what excites me the most about it. So, um, if you're watching this, feel free to check up on me. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll throw in some clips of me practicing worship. It's going to be terrifying. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not at all comfortable doing that, but I'll do it anyway, because why not? It's for the Jesus. Why would I be, why would I not be uncomfortable for Jesus? But that's what I'm doing. I'm learning to lead worship. And so that's super awesome. I'm excited to see what Jesus does in and through me as a result of these endeavors. But that's all I wanted to tell you about for this week. Um, so learn to worship. I'm excited. I will see you guys next week. Peace.